Now at Otterbein, you were in theater, mm -hmm. and so that means that you can sing, right? Yes. Will yes. you be showing your singing talents on the show? Uh, no, unfortunately. No? Can then you it... showcase your singing talents right now? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Don't put me on the spot like that. Okay. I had Thanksgiving dinner last night. Do you realize what that does for me? Well, we can look it up it's on wrecked. YouTube, right? It's wrecked. You could probably find some stuff <laughs> if you search hard enough on YouTube. Okay. No, I mean I went out for a lot of musicals when I first got to New York City, and it's definitely a tool that. I like to continue to cultivate and use. I sing at the choir in church and in New York, and uh, so it's something that I still I still do a lot, but it's not. I don't know. It's not something that I'm focusing on necessarily in my career. I realized kind of where where I was headed, and uh, to be completely frank, voice lessons are very expensive and acting lessons are very expensive. So I chose to focus more on the acting perspective of my career. And and when I do have a big singing audition, there's a lot of stuff right now that's coming down the pipe that's has singing involved in it as well as acting. So I've been going in for a lot of those projects. But yeah, I love singing. I grew up with singing. So that's something my mom instilled in me. So, oh, yeah. nice. But you're not going to show us singing right now. Well, that's OK. Mm. So <laughs> are you a fan of any other CW shows? Um, I really like uh, Arrow. I'm a mm. superhero nut. So have you? And um, they're doing the spinoff Flash yeah. now, too. So oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. That'll be cool. And yeah, I'm, I like that show a lot. Mm -hmm. So what's next for you? Next for me, I'm doing a, I'm doing a, a one-act Strindberg play in New York City. That's kind of a, uh, I mean, a little bit of a passion project for me. It's it's exciting, and I've been on stage since college, so I'm looking forward to getting back into that. And then I shot a a really cool web series called The Rules of Cool, um, with two Columbus natives actually are the were the writers of it, and um, the producers from Cincinnati, and um, so we worked on that and shot that, and they're going to pitch to Netflix, and it should all be up on. Um, up on YouTube so you can watch it all. It'll be really fun. And then I started an HBO, a new HBO show called The Leftovers. Starting in February, I'll start, I'll start shooting that. Um, it's got Liv Tyler and Amy Brenneman and Justin Theroux and Emily Mead, all these really just great people. It's a really cool show. And um, it's going to be good. It's from the, the guy who wrote Lost, Damon Lindelof. It's oh. his new show. It's, wow. it's cool. It's so really you're doing cool. a lot of stuff then. I'm busy. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, thank God, you know. I mean, I feel very lucky to be so busy. Okay, so last question. Mm -hmm. For all of your fans, what's something that they may not know about you? Um, when I was little, I was, my mom forced me to act and I want, because I wanted to be the next Brett Favre. Really? And she made me audition for Oliver Twist. <laughs> the music, Oliver at Landon Deerfield Players in Cincinnati and made me audition. I, Did I you get the part? I, I thought I was going to, I was the understudy for Oliver and I was an orphan boy. Wow. So, Oliver, Oliver. so we all have your mom to thank. You have my mom to thank for making me act, and then I loved it. So I guess that's a cool little random fact. <laughs> that's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking yeah, with us thank today. You. I really it appreciate pleasure. it. Thank it's very you. Very nice to meet you. Very Absolutely. nice to meet you too. <laughs> you can watch Jake on The Carrie Diaries Friday nights at eight on the CW Columbus.